Hello students. So today I will introduce to my new course that is Applied Statistical Thermodynamics. So I am Professor Tamil Banerjee from Department of Chemical Engineering, IIT Guwahati. I have been working in this area for at least last 15 years. So I will be actually conveying you the concepts of both classical and statistical thermodynamics in this course. But before I go into the course contents, let us see why we need this course. So as you know, applied statistical thermodynamics, I have added the term applied. What does applied means? Because statistical mechanics, you know, is quite synonymous to applied statistical thermodynamics. But applied statistical mechanics or statistical mechanics are mostly coined by physicists or chemists and there are a number of textbooks available with those involving statistical mechanics. So here I will coin the term applied statistical thermodynamics indicating this entire course is more towards chemical engineers at large or those chemists who have knowledge of classical thermodynamics. So what this course says is it talks about the molecular descriptors. We will see what are these molecular descriptors. These are you know we try to condense all the information of all molecules or atoms into statistical form or statistical information. So there are some descriptors and these descriptors are usually described in terms of partition functions or it is a mathematical description of how the atoms are arranged in different energy states, how their velocities are arranged in different energy states. Then from this partition function we have several ensembles, you must be knowing these ensembles which are uh, if you are familiar with because you have been working on this, those who are aware NPT ensemble, NVT ensemble likewise. Then we will try to find these thermodynamic properties from these ensembles. So we will take care of some of the few examples like monoatomic gas, diatomic gas or polyatomic gases. Then we go to from the monoatomic that is the ideal gases to non-ideal gases. We will define the variable equation of state and we will lead to an expression which will say the composition dependence on the mixing rules, how statistical thermodynamics and classical thermodynamics are related to each other. But please pay in mind that we are only dealing with equilibrium properties. There is no non-equilibrium property to be defined here such as viscosity, etc. So we are only dealing with equilibrium properties. So which are useful in the computer simulation methods you are aware of is molecular dynamics and Monte Carlo simulation. Then finally we will see what are the difficulties we have encountered or we will be encountering when we take off dense fluids or dense gases. So the entire course hence is useful for those undergraduates and postgraduates who have created courses on classical thermodynamics because they will be frequently using the Gibbs equation or the Gibbsian equation, Maxwell relation in this course. So you should have some understanding on the classical thermodynamics. So obviously as I am a chemical engineer, I will be inclined to take problems which will be based on chemical engineering application, let us say for the gases in the case of gases or in the case of let us say you want to find out what is the trajectory of the various molecules at different instant of time and from there how to obtain the density or molar volume or compressibility values likewise. So briefly this is the course outline, yes, these are some of the module names, this does not contain all the module names, we will talk about the canonical partition function in the initial module, then we will try to apply this to monoatomic and polyatomic gases. Then we will also see how we can define these partition functions to define equilibrium constants in chemical reactions. We will then delve upon other partition functions which may include let us say when we talk of other partition function, this is we talking about other ensembles. So ensembles we will be talking will be based on NPT, then uh, NPT or NVT or mu VT. Okay, so grand canonical ensemble, then you have the canonical ensemble, then isothermal, isobaric ensemble. Then we talk about the intermolecular potential, the LJ potentials and finally we talk about the virial coefficients. We go to the solid part, we discuss solids, how the partition function can be used to determine properties for solids. We take the example of monoatomic crystals. Then we talk about lattice models for fluids, we also talk about those models such as Flory Huggins model in the case of polymeric systems. We then go ahead and find interacting molecules in dense fluids 
and then we talk about the computer simulation method which is nothing but the molecular dynamics and Monte Carlo simulation. These are very important perspective and this you will have other course modules or other NPTEL courses totally devoted on this computer simulation methods. So, I will not go into detail. Then finally, the perturbation theories. So, we will be following books. The bold book is the textbook we can say of this particular course and introduction to applied statistical thermodynamics. And then there are other books like Macquarie's books, Chandler's books and Allen and Tilsley which primarily deals about the MD and MC simulation, MD and MC simulation. So, this was all about the course. I hope you will enjoy this course module wise and after the end of each module I will also give some illustration and problems where you will try to solve them as assignment or during the class itself some of them will be solved. So, I will try to integrate all the concepts in finally evaluating thermodynamic properties which we actually get from classical thermodynamics. I hope you have a enjoyable study reading this course. Thank you. Thank you.